Oh, and another, another, this is another card that gets really, really unfortunate with a damage doubler and repercussion. Or not, not even repercussion. With a, da a damage doubler and this card kind of get out of hand. Um, it's Toralf, God of Fury. Uh, basically it gives all of your, all of your non-combat damage forces trample. Not trample, sorry. Uh, well, it's sort of trample. You basically, you, the excess damage can be dealt to any other target. Sure. Which, if you have a damage doubler, would then double. It's a new source, and it just and it's a new source, so it would keep chaining. Oh no, more magic discussion. Yes, Thorn. More magic discussion. Damage increase. What are you? Oh, this one's just repeatable artifact destruction, but it deals damage to the artifacts controller because I am playing a burn deck after all. And yeah, that's. That's pretty much that. So that's that's the idea. It's how do you make a burn deck work? That's how. I think that's how I can we'll see how strong it is when I actually play it. So I need to know. Yes, rat, rats rats that can drive is the is the is the deck name I gave to the to the grease pack deck. <laughs> All right, rats that can drive. What about it? What's the goal? I skimmed the list. Okay, so I talked about it briefly, but um, the goal of it is, uh, other than amusement, I mean, it is a fairly amusing deck. Uh, having rats pilot mechs, but uh, Come on. Put up some fight. It basically, okay. the commander lets you recur uh, vehicles, and so you can attack with them recklessly. They have, if they have good ETB effects, um, you know, you can repeat them every combat, and then you. The idea is to sacrifice them before they get returned to my hand. And that that that's all happening. And in the background, I'm I, you know, I slowly build a rat army and then there's two or three finishers in the deck. Where if I just drop one of those and swing with all the rats, uh, I win. Or I can just grind out advantage or just straight up combat damage with the vehicles. Because there's some pretty strong vehicles in there. That you better be ready. I never actually have to cast. So. One one of the win cons is uh the the what I like to call uh fixed infect. Which is uh toxic. I'm no. fine with Toxic as an ability because it's ir it's irrespective of the combat damage you deal. Just if the creature hits, it gets that many poison counters and it doesn't mm -hmm. have the wither effect. I I agree. So it's fine. So, yeah, one of the one of the win cons is drop the what, dro drop the rat that gives all rats Toxic one and then swing. Uh, the other one is give rats plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of rats you control. And I think there was a third one con in there, but I forget. I mean, I can just win with Parhelion the second, right? Just angel, 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 angel tokens. That's a win con on its own. Uh, Mech Titan is also a win con on its own because it's a 10-10 with every keyword ever. So, you know. It's rats and vehicles. No, I think I will do it. 
now that I'm thinking about it. I think I will do it. I will remove a card and put doubling season in the squirrel deck. <laughs> it kind of, it needs it. Yeah. I'm, I'll bite that bullet. Especially since I'm already biting a similar bullet for the rat deck. Um, the, 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 pl the rats get plus X plus X where a number of, where X is the number of rats you control card is also like a lot of money. But is that just for rats or is that for all three? It's just for rats. Okay. It was a, it was a, it was only printed in Jumpstart, which is probably why it's so expensive. And I might be able to find a, a doubling season for less than fifty dollars. So it's fine. I forget the name of that card. What? On. One that applies to all creatures. Okay. Uh, coat of arms. Coat of arms. That's the one. Yeah, that might be better to put in than the rat, but it's probably more expensive. No, coat of arms. They reprinted it in some stuff recently. It's only like ten bucks. Oh, okay. Yep. Totally doable. In fact, now that you say that, maybe I should also put a coat of arms in there as a finisher. The, the problem with that one is it hits other tribal decks, right? Yeah. It is team agnostic, which I like. I think that's always fun. It is always fun, and probably why it's not as much. Uh, well, the, the reprint is probably why the price went down more than anything. But yeah, just... Uh, that, that one could end up backfiring on me, so maybe I'll just stick with the rats only buffs. But yeah, unfortunately for me, slivers. Yeah, unfortunately for me, half the price of that rat deck is two cards. So I could take those out, but like they make the rat tribal sub theme work. So kind of need, need to stay in. But yeah, I could I could save coat of arms as a finisher, right? And uh, the deck has ways to sacrifice artifacts, so I guess I could prevent it from being used against me. That's the entire idea, is to have sacrifice outlets for artifacts um, as vehicles. But, mm -hmm. So, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I don't know what I would remove, but I'll think about it. Yep, so there's that. I have to build the werewolf deck and then the deck that I forgot about but still want to build is building the deck that turns Mana Burn back on as a number six. So many new decks. I thought we were done for. This is what happens when I get back into magic. Here they are. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask Killing the same you. of you. We're just gonna fight without talking it out. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I was coming by surprise. I was reaching for something to charge my phone. <laughs> 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 I thought there was going to be more to that, so I was like, that gives me time <laughs> to nope. fish around for my cable. We're not going to talk about it. Fight. Oh, I don't know when I used... <laughs> Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were... Hey, what's going on back there? Hey. Speen! Are you making that Beep. move? No, it just did it by itself. Uh-huh, sure. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and this coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. 
I wonder, are there enough overload cards and kicker slash multi-kicker cards to make an overcharge theme where you go glass cannon and see if you can take everyone out before they take you out? A 1v3 deck. Probably. A lot of them can be pricey, though. Don't get careless. Every battle should have my like, converts in it. Every what? Every, every one of these battles, like every battle in this game should have just like improves in it. In oh. addition to all the other enemies that are in the game. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're weak to martial, they're weak to just like sand physical martial arts. Mm -hmm. So we say stun super easy. Yeah. Uh, just, just make it a toggle option like in uh, Shadows Over Loathing where you can yeah. just add spiders to both sides of the fight. Ah. I am the raid boss. Starts playing the mid boss music from Sky One. Yeah. Um, please, please do more than one hit at a time, though. I know you're paralyzed, Phil. It's too dangerous for me to be running around every and I this all the time. So now that you say now that you say that, uh, Thorn, um, I do have a deck that is kind of like that. It's called uh, the commander is um, Mizix, <laughs> and uh, it's not it's not uh, overload. Well, I mean there are some overload cards in there, but it's not kicker. What really what really does it? No, or what really does it is the buyback cards, which are the rudest thing. They, they are rude. Cascade? Yeah, um, there are a couple of Cascade commanders specifically. Stop I have one. Uh, I don't use it for the Cascade so much. It's a sub theme in the deck. So having a dedicated Cascade deck would be cool. <laughs> There's one, there's uh, probably the one you want to run is a uh, Temur colored and says while cascading, you can put a, a land exiled by the cascade onto the battlefield under your control. In addition to your, your, whatever you're cascading with. So that's, that's a cool one. And if I don't already have that in my cascade, which isn't actually a cascade oh, deck, it's a deck about casting all the wheels and watching as everyone loses all their cards and takes a bunch of damage. Um, God fun we eat God fun deal. Oh right, and that's why the deck needs black, I forgot. <laughs> because all the all the discard payoffs are in black. <laughs> yep. That's why the deck had to be four colors. I remember now. I guess it doesn't technically need green, but um Yeah, but the commander. Well the command the commanders uh, I mean if I could if I was, I mean, technically I could run at Grixis and just have Nekosar as my commander, right? But that's too classic. That's one of the decks where I do something weird with the deck. You'd think that would be a, a Cascade commander, but no. I mean, there is plenty of Cascade in there still because casting a big spell and then cascading into a wheel is really funny. Especially if I can get, there's a card I need in that deck. It looks like a dead end up ahead. Which is also another expensive card, because here? No, the card just not right now. the mana cost is irrelevant, and the type the type is irrelevant, the power and toughness is irrelevant. All that matters is the text box. Would you like to know what the text box reads? I know what it reads. Do you know what it reads? Purple I do. Flowers. It reads Cascade. Yep. Cascade. Cascade. No. Cascade. The reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. Yeah, that one. I need to get that what in the deck. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. 
But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. Beetle. Beetle. <gasps> demon beetle. Ah, oh, big bad beetle borg. This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Barrier. Another barrier! That barrier. Even my Praetor hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. No, Mr. Right. Bugglesworth. Everyone, let's do this. What do you mean, two? Yeah, so there's the there's the four cascade creature. There's the creature that gives everything. I want to be a bug. Or the first spell you cast, cascade. There's the two cascade creature, which is still good. That one's a that one's a finisher on its own because it gives like creatures haste. So I could, in theory, with the deck, in theory, it, it would be hard to pull off because if I got all this stuff out, I've probably already won the game. But you, there's enough going on in that commander deck, I think, to get six instances of Cascade on one creature. <laughs> Which, and since it's the highest mana cost card of the entire deck, it will hit six things. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a thing I want to do. That'll be fun. I will need to include more ramp though. That that deck's due for an overhaul. There's there's newer cards that really help it and uh, it needs a better mana base and almost certainly more ramp. I'm looking into that Madness Hellbent idea. What about Blood Rush as an additional payoff? Discarding Threshold on the Uh, Threshold is good. Things that care about cards in the graveyard is, is good. Uh, Blood Rush won't fit the colors unless you find, uh... Because Blood Rush, I mean, there might be some mono red Blood Rush, but Blood Rush is a, usually a red green ability. So if you if you go if you get in if you find a Jund commander that'll work with that it'll work because the commander I showed you was just Rakdos colored. But if you can if, if you can find a good wait is it what no that's sacrifice thing right it's like it's like Corvold. Collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. <laughs> Look, Beetle. Can we keep him? No, hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. <sighs> oh, Nom the Barrier. You want it, you feed it. Beetle. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey, 
Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, oh, okay. you might Here's wind a up as corpse number 50. Here's a madness commander for you. 50? I'll send it. That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I had forgotten that this was even a commander because it's not even a creature. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Did that really just only copy the... I'm having... I'm having problems. <laughs> I, I, I'm having... I'm having issues with... Uh... We get it. We got them all. Onward to the new zone. Scout ship setting sail. I cannot... There you go, you get that instead. <laughs> I wonder what they call this kind of bug. Your way into that Beetle. thing, aren't you? I like that I tried to send the card to Thorn and I copied the image as you would normally do with a card, but what did it paste? Just the foil overlay. <laughs> Excellent. But yeah, Lord Windgrace. Said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back, demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. If only you could just... ask. Yeah, I found a chest I was missing. Always be on guard. Crash through. Don't blow. 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 Crash through. Costs too much, but it's pretty good. Alright, I'll look at the art. Oh, that's amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. It reminds me of the uh, the secret lair for our, for rats uh, that they did too. You should look at the rat secret lair. I almost bought that. I really should have bought that. That would have been the only secret lair I ever purchased. But I think at that point in time, I couldn't have bought it for that. So. so that that was in a cat-specific secret lair. Uh, there's other cats like that one, I'm pretty sure. I think the Arabo for that secret lair is pretty good. But since that's not even the commander of my cat deck, um, I don't think I'd get it. Come on, put up some fight. 
Okay. However, every single one of these cats is in my... Oh, okay. No, you know what? My commander is in this. I might want to go through and find that for later. But, uh... It's fine. Wait, that didn't include Lord Windgrace, though. Was that a bonus? Maybe it's... Maybe that one's expensive because it was a bonus card, and you only get it sometimes. That bug! It looks pretty tough. Yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it. It must be a new species. Incredible. A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No. Those oh, never mind. There was just like a pincers, second but they're cat actually specific horns. secret lair. A three horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. <laughs> okay. The Laffy said stag beetle has okay. a better ring okay. to it, right? That's what really part of good. That sounds better. The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. <laughs> I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Okay. Beetledom? More like okay. beetle dumb. The image. Uh, that doesn't help your case at all. Send. Eisen. I. I feel oh, wait, I have to just find the, I want to just find the secret layer version. The rhino is a one-trick oh, pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Yes. Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly? Bug. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're, They're totally, totally different. different! So? What I will also think? send this to you so you can marvel um, in the glory. I think Rhino Stagros for now. <laughs> uh. Please enjoy. It is amazing. Salatoma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is <laughs> enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Of, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of solitoma. Well, poo. How dull. Whew. <laughs> Bienfu dead again. <laughs> Rip Bienfu. 
you had it coming. <laughs>